Hello friends, uh, today is my 18th presentation on the very interesting subject of developing KPIs and KRAs uh, for the design functions uh, under the broad theme of ethics in the real estate and hospitality industry. Uh, what I am going to include in this presentation is the what is the purpose of KPIs, uh, 11 activities how to develop the KPIs, uh, I have also suggested 20 KPI parameters for the function of design of architects, interior and MPP designers and uh, uh, suggested template for the KPI, uh, how to populate the template for computing the KPI score, uh, KPI versus KRA and one illustration for the KRA driven annual performance appraisal system and activities that can adversely impact the business while targeting KPIs and future references of course. Purpose of developing KPIs for building designers. The KPIs uh, uh, are actually uh, measurable values that demonstrate how effectively a function is meeting the organization objectives. KPIs need to be very specific, measurable and realistic and must be communicated to the concerned key functional team members in this case designers uh, annually or at a predetermined frequency to meet the KPI targets. KPI is uh, planned objectively through employee involvement surely lead to putting in concerted efforts by our, by the concerned architects, interior and MPP designers and thus contribute to the enhancing the design excellence. KPIs form a robust basis for converting this into individual KRAs or key result areas. KRAs enable fairness in the performance evaluation system, uh, process and enhance employees, uh, employees motivation and retention to contribute more effectively. Now what are the 11 activities which are there uh, to uh, develop the KPIs? Uh, the number one is that sharing of the corporate objectives uh, uh, by the top management which include like sales numbers, uh, revenues, market share, segment wise, construction costs, completion targets with the HODs of the design of uh, architecture, interior designing and design of MVPs. Uh, design inputs um, uh, of the format or contents of the KPI template with the inputs coming from the COMD. Identifying the important KPIs for each of these three design functions based on the core objectives and the external influences like customer demand or competitors offerings or economy or statutory considerations. Uh, initially each HOD based on these parameters proposes the KPI target and measures to the COMD. Thereafter, the COMD uh, does the review, modification and approves the respective KPIs and putting up this measurement system in place like reports, dashboards, etc. Uh, each of the HODs converting this each KPI into KRA result areas of the uh, respective functional uh, team members at different levels and different positions. Uh, monthly capturing of the actual accomplishment of the KPIs by the respective teams in the template. A periodic review of the actual accomplishment of the KPIs versus target as also the KRAs actual versus target for the purpose of annual performance review. In exceptional cases, reviewing and updating the resubmitting of the KPIs to the CEOs, MDs in case of any major changes and uh, compiling uh, level wise actual versus target KRAs which is a process similar to the KPI and uh, uh, forwarding this updated reports to the HR team. Uh, post review by the HODs for the annual performance appraisal uh, system. Now uh, there are 20 KPIs which have been listed uh, which are uh, which can be applied equally to design of architect functions uh, designers or interior designers or MVP designers. These are uh, and more details about these are available in my handbook. Here I am just giving highlighting the uh, line item. Uh, number one is the number of the new projects for which architecture, interior and MAP designers were commercially successful. The benchmarking of the competitors projects for uh, various features that affect the customer situation. This could be for the residential buildings, for the commercial buildings, uh, whatever. Uh, Mock-up uh, mock uh, unit development cost. Uh, <coughs> timeliness for the preparation of the release and approval of the design versus concept designs. Timeliness for preparation and release of the approval of the design versus schematic drawings, schematic designs. Timeliness and preparation and the design and release works for the obtaining the sanctioned designs. This may not be applicable in the case of interior designers. 
timeliness for preparation and release of the design of the design works to service detailed design based on the statutory approvals timeliness for the preparation of the comprehensiveness standards and release of the tenders accuracy for estimating the project cost either in rupees or usd uh, or total or as uh, rup uh, rupees or usd per square feet including each design package wise timeliness for the preparation and comprehensive of the working drawings gfc uh, drawings to service each package timeliness in obtaining the statutory approvals before or during the construction timeliness and uh, accuracy of specification the tenders and design drawings technical support to in house purchase and contract uh, teams for selection of the outsource project consultants and contractors quality of the design that cause that causes project execution delays due to inadequacy in design or design works uh, design drawings which need rework rendering support to the project construction team regarding design drawings related to the constructability aspects rendering support to the qs quantity survey team regarding the measurements of the work done by the consultants or the contractors or for the extra work and the substitute materials validating the accuracy of the bill passing of consultant or service providers with service deliverables in case requisition by the qs team timeliness in the release of uh, as built drawings and designs timeliness in obtaining statutory approvals after construction for example occupancy cert occupancy certificate or completion certificate cost reduction and value engineering these about 20 parameters uh, proposed can vary uh, amongst different uh, functions of architects or interior design or mvp and uh, like these can be 10 or 15 or whatever numbers uh, depending on the importance to the each respective function and the stages of the development and are to be determined in consultation with the project head and the hr and the uh, COMD. Now, suggested template for KPIs. Uh, what is being proposed is the Excel kind of a template where which will have different columns uh, like uh, uh, serial num KPI, serial number, description of the KPI, measurement of accomplishment, unit of measure, percentage weightage, KPI target, actual score earned, and remarks. This I am going to show through a specific uh, template. Now, this is one uh, example of template where I was saying that serial number one is for example for a KPI number serial number four I am just showing this for easier understanding what is the suggested KPI uh, suggested KPI here is the timeliness for preparation and release of the approval of design works based on the developing concept design uh, measure of the accomplishment now since there are so many designs and so many uh, drawings required so it can't be done for uh, all uh, for each one of these separately so what I am proposing is that on time release this is to be done on a score scoring is to be done on a five point scale with the five being excellent and delightful or one and one being poor so here the unit of measurement is the score as i mentioned percent weightage let's say that we are giving a weightage of five uh, why weightage of five because there are 20 parameters which i have listed and 20 into five makes up total 100 uh, uh, then what is the target target for this maybe four or five and what is the actual score earned based on the performance and the score earned as a percentage uh, which is uh, the actual divided by the target into the weightage and uh, uh, from the start of the go ahead given by the promoter for designing the specific project uh, this timeliness has to be taken from that perspective now this uh, for, uh, if there are 20 parameters so i have given a score of 5 let's assume that for another uh, function like uh, MEP or interior designer there are say 14 or 15 so this score weightage which I have given as 5 this can vary it can be 5 it can be 10 for some parameters but the total sum of these should be uh, 100 so that computation of the score is easier now populating the template for computing the KPI score it is uh, <coughs> uh, it is important to remember that KPIs are to be targeted for the entire design function that is architect as a whole architecture team as a whole and to be similarly compiled by other design functions like interior or MVP separately each of the KPI parameters for design function is assigned a target score as I mentioned as I explained and uh, here I have just taken five for easier understanding and but all these add up to must add up to uh, you know hundred uh, 100 is to be shown in this uh, 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 respective column <clears throat> now one illustration for computing the kpi score for first uh, for the uh, one of the kpi is uh, assume target of 10 units in the column 6 let me go back to the column 6 column 6 is the target okay 
column 7 is the actual and column 5 is the weightage repeating column 5 is the weightage percentage weightage 6 is the target and actual is 7 and weighted score is in column 8 uh, this uh, let's assume the target is uh, target for the KPI is 10 units uh, 10 in terms of units or score and actual target measured is say 9 so uh, assume weightage uh, is 5 so the KPI score will be 4.5 which is uh, 9 uh, actual uh, measured divided by uh, uh, actual divided by the target uh, which is 10 uh, uh, and uh, multiplied by the weightage 5 so score is 4.5 this is to be captured in column number 8 so uh, depending on each of these 20 targets the total summation of all this will be at the end of this column 8 uh, now uh, in, in this uh, in this uh, ppt i am not able to show it uh, very clearly but you can look at my blog where this computation is shown very clearly and this is evident from this previous uh, template which i have shown so uh, uh, the score will be uh, uh, column uh, uh, column uh, 7 divided by column 6 into weightage Now, after the KPI score has been uh, has been uh, di dri driven uh, uh, computed for the uh, uh, one KPI as shown, we have to compute the score for the remaining 19 cap KPI parameters and capture the column number eight. So let's assume that the KPI score for 20 parameters works out to be 85 at the end of this uh, 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 column eight, uh, which have a target of 100. So based on this percentage KPI score earned the COs and MD can decide the following number one countermeasures whatever are uh, wherever the score is lower or falls below the excellent number review the resource commitment uh, review the strategic changes to be made in the design uh, uh, designing approach uh, take it as a very important input for deciding on the bonus or any variable income to be given to the very high senior level designers as a part of the proposed uh, performance growth system. So this is equivalent to you know uh, determining the uh, variable income uh, at the senior levels. Uh, okay. Now KPI versus KRS. While we talked about the KPI which are applicable at the function level, uh, what uh, proposing is that there are similar KRS which are there at the individual levels. Now, uh, just for clarity, see within a design function, say an architecture design function, there are different packages like uh, structure, design of structure, or design of architecture for buildings, design of facade, design of landscape, golf course, etc. Similarly, for the MB function, there are so many other uh, packages like HVAC or electrical or plumbing or uh, lift elevator, etc. etc. Now, so there are different kind of skills required for each of these packages. Therefore, it is uh, it is possible that the KRAs for a different kind of level of people will be different uh, vis a vis uh, the package being uh, considered and the role assigned to the individual. So these KRAs can be selected directly from the list of the from the list of KPIs which I have given 20 KPIs and uh, these ought to be different for different levels depending on the competence the experience and the role in which individual and uh, uh, i also wish to say that this uh, while i've indicated 20 kpis you can add more kpis or you can reduce the kpis depending on the importance and significance of this uh, kpis uh, to the organization now depending on the size of the organization and complexity of the project the organization structure can have many layers like higher levels uh, directors, HODs, chief designers, general managers and so on, middle level like senior managers, managers and so on, lower level like assistant manager, design staff like draftsmen, workers for the sample room development uh, or testing etc. Uh, so uh, these of course this designation what I am just stating here these can be different for different organizations and uh, the template of care can be identical to that of the KPI for ease of implementation. KRAs need to be fixed for each position as under. Number of uh, KRAs can be different, uh, which can be lower than 20 for different levels. Each KRA can have a weightage different from 5 mentioned earlier, but the total must add up to 100. This is just I am repeating it. Now, one illustration of the KRA driven uh, annual performance appraisal system. I was talking earlier about the KPI, now I am talking about the KRA uh, for the individuals. Uh, let's say that uh, quantitative assessment based uh, is done. On the uh, for the purpose of these uh, annual performance 
appraisal i am proposing evaluation to be done on two parameters one is the quantitative assessment based on the kri kri score which i have uh, stated above and the qualitative assessment which is based on the competences which are uh, uh, to be assessed 36 competences which have uh, now now there are uh, uh, there are five type of competences uh, which uh, are technical assessment on 12 parameters commercial assessment on five parameters it software competency on five parameters legal competency on four parameters leadership competency on 10 parameters of course these 36 competencies will not be applying to all the levels and positions and hence will need to be assessed at different uh, at individual levels in my presentation of uh, 14 january 23 in the youtube these have been covered in detail and hence i am not duplicating this the i mean i mean the competences <clears throat> now let us assume that the total care score and for a particular designer at a specific level uh, can be uh, is say on the quality quantity estimate let's say score is 85 on a 100 point scale <laughs> for 20 parameters or any other number of parameters let's assume that qualitative uh, assessment done by <coughs> the superior is 70 on a scale of 100 for all the competencies 36 or any number uh, which is applicable to that particular level being appraised so let us assume that weightage we are assigning is quantitative score is 60 percent and qualitative score is 40 percent that means deliverables are 60 and whereas qualitative things are 40 percent so the aggregate score will be 79 that means uh, 85 at the rate of 60 percent and uh, which is 51 and 70 at the rate of 40 uh, percent is 28 totals adds up to 51 plus 28 79 so the person will earn a score of aggregate score of 79 on both quantitative uh, 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 quantitative assessment and qualitative assessment now let's assume that uh, as per the corporate or HR policy the total score uh, classification is as under excellent is 8200 very good is 6200 average is 40 to 60 below average is uh, 20 to 40 and poor is below 20 so in this above illustration where the score has come 79 this person will qualify under the very good category uh, uh, and is to be given the annual increase or the raise accordingly uh, uh, the weightage of 60 to 40 mentioned above can also vary for different levels positions as decided jointly by the chief designer or the project plus the project head and the hr and the co or md so uh, there is a total flexibility available to the uh, function to determine and assign these now what are the activities that can adversely impact the business as far as this uh, determining of the kpis or kra is concerned number one kpi related providing incorrect inputs to the senior management to have easy targets or goals for kpi parameters at the function level in the workflow or immediate software that enable accessing of the KPIs incorporating incorrect parameters vis a -vis the management approved parameters. That means a manager suggested some specific parameter related to say, <coughs> uh, related to say uh, delivery time for the new projects or costs etc. But the what is being put in the KPI uh, template are different uh, figures and different uh, uh, parameters and different weightages. And making changes in the KPI targets or actuals before the performance review meeting so with the ulterior objectives that means showing uh, showing uh, lowered kpi targets or showing higher actuals uh, this is just to manipulate this these are the adverse activities uh, activities that can impact the business uh, uh, with service care is concerned the target setting for the following may not be objective but based by asked or to favor uh, or reprimand specific individuals uh, that means a person who is uh, the blue eyed person uh, giving him uh, giving him or her uh, targets which are easily achievable and uh, the skewed percentage uh, of the weightages and uh, uh, in the qualitative applicability of the competence and their numbers and weightages may be different uh, not uh, objective but to either to favor someone uh, reward someone or to punish someone the actual measurement of the both quantitative and qualitative parameters may not be accurate uh, you can refer to uh, chapter 18 in my handbook for more details on this aspects covered in my presentation this book is titled ethics in the real estate and property industry volume 1 and you can also refer to this blog uh, which i have indicated and uh, you will find uh, a tabulation of the uh, of the uh, template uh, uh, where you can easily understand how the scoring is to be done and of course there are some articles which you may find on the Facebook and LinkedIn and book is available in the Kindle format or the paperback at Amazon.com Amazon thank you very much thank you